days at EMS World Expo 2015, we've, we held our CPR Throwdown event, which is really focused on the high quality CPR initiative, promoting high quality CPR. And we really try to get teams involved and have them compete and have them learn and see how their skills are and give them some feedback along the way and hope they take that into account and take that back with them when they, when they go back into their jobs and back into the field. The paramagics from Northampton, North Carolina. We're going in three, two, one, CPR. Let's hear it for him, guys. Let's do it. Just a little fast off the top. There you go. Now we're feeling it. Historically, we've all thought, oh, yeah, I do great compressions. I do great this, that. But once you get the feedback that we're seeing, you can say, oh, gosh, yeah, I'm going deep enough, but I'm not recoiling far enough. I'm not letting off the chest, and that can make the difference in survival. And they're judged on a couple components. One is the mannequin reads things like compression rate, compression depth, ventilation, chest compression fraction, which is the amount of time on the chest, is one component of their score. The team from Northampton, North Carolina, the Paramagics, doing some high quality CPR. Nice team switch, perfect. So there's always room for improvement. Even, even the best teams had some room for improvement. So hopefully they take that into account and keep that in mind when they go back home. Five, four, three, Two, one, let's hear it for the team from Northampton, North Carolina, 98 percent. Not only are they having some fun being competitive, but they're really getting some valuable information about how they can do better high quality CPR. Another component of their score is the judges. So they really measure team communication, how well do they communicate with each other while the CPR is going on so that they can maximize the high quality CPR. We're going to take back what we learned here in this competition back to Northampton County. Well, I think what it does is it brings folks in just due to their inherently competitive nature. And then when they actually start performing the CPR and see that feedback, they understand areas that they can really improve. This is why this makes a difference. The big takeaway would be making sure they understand the idea of high quality CPR, being able to implement it at home, and, and knowing that you gotta continue to work on your, on your CPR skills. In second place, on their second opportunity, the team from Northampton, North Carolina, Northampton Paramagic. You have to continually do it and continually get feedback, and the more you do that, the better you become, and hopefully the, you impact more out, patient outcomes. And that's really what we want to come out of this, is people will focus on high quality CPR because that is what's saving lives.